Hi, Brendan Lupitan. I hope you're doing awesome under the circumstances. Today, I briefly want to talk about a really interesting and really powerful persuasion technique that has a lot of relevance, uh, given the fact that so many of us are uh, forced to stay at home and work from home uh, and have some uh, degree of a loss of freedom. And the persuasion technique that is really powerful and so simple to use is called, but you are free. And the whole concept behind it is that it stresses the person that you're talking to's autonomy, that you're underscoring their right, their freedom to choose and make the decision for themselves, which is hugely important to everybody. And I think really resonates right now when a lot of us have had some of our uh, freedom to choose what we want to do taken away in light of the pandemic. So the way this technique works is whatever your request is, whatever your argument is, simply add the words, but you are free to the end of it. Okay. So let me give you an example from one of the interesting studies that this was proven by. Two French scientists named Gauguin and Pascal go to a mall and they would go up to two different groups of people, individually approach them, and they would walk up and in one group they would say, may I have some change for the bus? In the other group they would say, may I have some change for the bus, but you are free to refuse or accept. And that was it. And what they found was that about 10% of the people in the control group, the people that didn't get the but you are free, agreed to it. But they found that 47% of the people in the experimental group who were reminded of their freedom to give money or not give money, gave money. And even crazier is that of all the people that gave money, the people that were reminded of their freedom gave twice as much money than the other people. This was borne out in numerous experiments since then. Even a meta-analysis by a guy named Chris Carpenter more recently proved that over 42 different studies, the but you are free technique was at least twice as effective than not doing the but you are free argument, gaining a response, a positive response or acceptance of your request or your argument. So try it, it's easy, it's super powerful. Speak to somebody and simply at the end, remind them that it's up to them. They are free to accept or, or, or refuse your proposal or your argument, but you are free. And But for that, all of you are free to try that or not try it at home. Brendan Lupitan, I hope you're doing great. Take care until next time.